You have a tendency to be critical of yourself. You have serious doubts about whether you've made the right decision or done the right thing in the past. Miss Harper, did you hear me? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Uh, there is an extensive amount of debt that she took out leading up to the months leading to her death. But my mother was well off. She had hundreds of thousands of dollars in investments. She had hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and other assets. This is ludicrous. In my personal opinion, and you don't have to take it, your, your mother, she was very vulnerable. She trusted the wrong people. Okay. Your dad wants me. He says that you always called him daddy. Is that right? Okay. Your daddy wants you to know how much he loves you and how proud of you he is. Now he says that he knows that you've made some mistakes in the past, but you are definitely on the right track. Does that make sense? Okay. He says you are so close to living that life that he has always dreamed of for you. And he says that he is always going to be with you and watching out for you and protecting you. It's okay, darling. You just let it all out. Those feelings and emotions that you have, they are reverberating through the spirit realm. And this is what brings you closer to your father. Holy shit, what a performance. <laughs> Easy as pie R squared. <laughs> You really should teach a master class on this. Oh, well, maybe one day. But today, we are going to be making some money. We've got a whole new group of people coming in this evening. And I've got them primed and ready to go for you. Primed? How do you already have them primed? Well, they're going to come in, see your show. Then they're going to go back and tell all their friends and family about their session. You know, I did see one guy in the back who was recording on his cell phone. And you know, that's gonna be all over social media. Shit, where's my cell phone? I think you left it. Oh, damn it. All right, I think it's in the lobby. I'll be right back. something I could actually learn or do. Do you want to go back to bagging groceries? Not really. I'm, I'm actually intrigued by what you uh, have to offer. Listen, as long as you go out there and you do what you got to do, then you're going to make enough money to more than cover your bills. You can even go to Cancun a few times a year. I don't know, something about all this just makes me nervous. Okay, so just ask questions like, is there anyone who has a J or M? Because, you know, that's one of my favorites, okay? Because out of the top 200 names in the last 100 years, almost 20% started with a J or M. So you have a person with a family of 20, right? The odds are that out of that family of 20, at least four are going to have the initials J or M, all right? So you take a room full of people, that's 10, 20, even 100. Well, you do the math. All you gotta do is just ask real broad questions and find the answers that way. Okay, so how do I know if it's a mom, dad, boyfriend, or whoever that's passed away. 
if you noticed when I was asking that woman, I didn't say specifically her father or mother, right? I said a parental figure. I mean, hell, that could be anybody. Ugh. So how do you get people to fall for this shit? <laughs> that is the beautiful part. Okay. It's psychology. The Barham effect is when you make a statement and it's something that's so vague that it can apply to just anybody. You mean like you have a tendency to be critical of yourself or you have serious self-doubts about whether you've made the right decision or done the right thing? That kind of stuff. Hey, look at you. You are going to do great. Like, we're like professional gamblers playing the odds. You know, all you got to do is make some vague statements like, hey, your uncle is telling you that he wants you to go ahead and go on that journey or take that job that you've always wanted. Who gives a shit as long as they give us their money? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you stole everything from my mom. You stole all of her money. You stole her quality of life with your charlatan bullshit. Now it's your turn to pay. have a loved one who has passed on and you want to contact them for that much needed closure? Do you have a big life decision ahead and you're looking for some supernatural guidance? Marlene the Medium can do all of this and more. Hello, Melody. Thank you.